Hello YouTube. Today I am doing a clean out of my Eastern Black Swallowtails. And I'm going to show you how I do it. It's pretty simple. And plus I'll be showing you that later. I think you guys will like it. Well, looks like he's going to try to... I don't know what he's doing, but... This is about full grown. It's about as big as I get before they start to turn into a pupa. Or, not pupa, well, chrysalis. Looks like he might be looking for a spot, so I'm going to need to take him and move him, but first want to bulk him up a little bit more so he has a nice, healthy molt in the pupate. Has a good pupation. First off, I take off all the caterpillars with as much um, stick stuff as I can and throw it away. Like he's off, so I just take him off. He's on, I'll just keep him on for now. And he's partly off, so I could just boop. There we go. I take this. Normally, this is a good compost, but you had it just rain and it's wet, and I don't want to go out there right now, so. That's good. I take a tissue, wipe it out. That's good enough. Take all the new stuff. This is fennel. I'm going to save a little bit of it for the big cage where I keep my moths. That's also the pupation cage. So they get a lot of good um, food in there before they pupate. So now I pick them up. Put them in. I'm a little bit rough with them because I know how to handle them. I've been Caring for them, this is my ninth year of raising caterpillars, so I'm a, I'm a pro at this. I know all the little tricks and secrets, and this is practically at their setup. Lots of food, all the time. Make sure you always have food in there. That'll make them grow faster. Have the right type of food. This species loves loves fennel, right? Better than any other type. And then they will lay on other types like Queen's Anzalace and Parsley. They're sometimes called Parsley Worms because of that. And Dill. Yeah, this is one way to get them off is just to poke them a little bit at, on the rear end. And they should crawl off pretty quickly. I normally like to get everything out so it doesn't start to mold. Mold is not good for caterpillars. Let's see if we'll work on this one. Oh, it looks like he got... He got a little bit of... Molt. Oh, he's molting right now. Um, let me hope we get it off. Or he molted and he still has a face problem right now. Um, I really can't tell. I'm going to have to get a closer look at this. Let me look at one of them. No, oh, he's not having a problem. He's just being, he just looks funny. Come on, get off. Then I'll show you a little bit of the meat. You already see one. Eating right there. I love how they eat. It's just so cool. And that's why I love this species so much. They're just amazing to keep. They're beautiful when they hatch out. And yeah, they're just awesome. Easy to keep too. They're not very complex. Come on. Oh. There we go. Now that they're done, let me. I will show you a couple other cool things. This is my. Is he still alive? Yeah. This is my copper underwing. You go and create a pupa soon, so I need to move him into the other area. And I also have an unknown species of caterpillar in here that I found in my grass. So I'm still looking up him, see what he is. Beautiful color. Oops, sorry. 
Um, nice browns, nice, just nice colors. Might be a fall army worm, I'm guessing. I'll just do a quick clean out of them. Just reuse the tissue. Oh, that's disgusting. I'll have to clean that up later, so, or now. So remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Oh wait, first let me show you this. This is a little tiny toad tadpole with legs. And I will be doing a video on the others tomorrow, so remember to like and subscribe.